space. Some have called it the final frontier. For many of us, space remains one of life's greatest mysteries. This Sunday night, folks will be able to look up to the skies and experience a rare total lunar eclipse. So the eclipse will start at 1027, uh, that's when the partial phases are going to begin. Uh, totality will begin around uh, 1129 and go until a little bit after midnight. And then the eclipse will finish up around 155 in the morning. Sean Lotch says a lunar eclipse is an hours long event of the moon going through the Earth's shadow. He says the sun, the moon and the Earth will have a special alignment during this time. According to Lotch, in order to get a total lunar eclipse, the moon passes through the darkest part of the Earth's shadow, known as the umbra. Dr. Noah Petro says the moon will take on an unusual color. Uh, the moon turns that bright, or that beautiful red and coppery color, uh, for the same reason that we get red sunrises and sunsets. So uh, effectively what you're seeing when the moon turns that color during a total lunar eclipse is a projection of every sunrise and sunset on the Earth onto the lunar surface. Dr. Petro says that although we get roughly two lunar eclipses a year, they aren't always visible by everyone based on where they live. He says Mainers should take advantage of their chance to see it this weekend. So eclipses are, are relatively common in terms of astronomical events, but to be able to have a, a kind of a front row seat for one is an opportunity you shouldn't pass up. Kirsten Hibbert of the Challenger Learning Center says this is a fun and educational event that the whole family can enjoy. Anyone can participate and just it's so neat that you can just even do this from your own house, your own backyard. Clear weather permitting, Lotch says people are welcome to come watch the eclipse event from the Astronomy Center's observatory using its powerful telescope which was built in 1901. The best part of this astronomy event, however, is that you don't need any specific equipment to see it. I put a sleeping bag out and I crawl in and lean back and relax and enjoy the show. For more information about the moon, go to moon.nasa.gov. To see a live stream of the eclipse, you can go to nasa.gov live. I'm Dylan Holloway for ABC7 and Fox 22.